Something is frozen. Something isn't going anywhere. And someone knows that. Someone is possibly acting out, rebelling when it comes to you. This is someone who is rebelling because the hope is gone. They feel like something is frozen when it comes to you and you're not moving. This is someone who feels like you have set some heavy boundaries. This could be a masculine energy. Please take it how it resonates with you. But this is someone who is roaming wild. This is someone who is roaming free when it comes to a thrill, a chase, and something is being blocked from them. This is someone you have had to set some heavy boundaries with, yet they are still clinging to something you did or you said. This is something that is causing a change or a delay or something to be shattered. Damage for good. Hmm. This is someone who pushed you to your limits. An overload, a breaking point. Because they are too in tune with taking risk. Not caring about the possibilities or the consequences. I feel there's a lot of tension within this situation where something is unspoken, but this energy is pretending, pretending they are better off. Yet I feel this energy is sitting in a space of confusion, unclear about the conflict or the fact that they are the ones bringing the tension. I feel like this is someone who is very affected by you, very affected by the you walking away or standing in your power or just simply calling them out whatever this is this energy is not liking it they're pretending to not be affected by the fact that they ran from you or they're concealing something from you or the fact that they even still care i feel this energy could be sending mixed messages because things are falling apart this is someone who is sending mixed messages to you because they're in despair not wanting to need you or want you, this energy is still concealing something from you and holding back with resentment. I feel like since they can't have you, they're making you the villain. They're making you the enemy in their mind. This is causing them to be bitter or angry towards you, trapped, stuck in the past, or stuck in some very toxic ways. In fact, I feel this energy is drifting, detaching, slowly but surely, and they're not wanting to be rejected. This is why they're playing these games with you. This is someone who is sitting in their pride, ego, and arrogance, stubborn when it comes to love and wanting you to feel like something is a complete misunderstanding, all your fault, because they're never in the wrong. This is someone who is pretending they are never in the wrong. They're being superficial shallow, blank when it comes to loyalty and love. This is someone who wants you to give in to something. They want you to let your guard down. Feminine energy here. They want you to be emotional towards their words or their actions. However, I do feel you are spiritually protected as you're recovering or nourishing yourself. Hmm. I see a lot of growth when it comes to the soul. Hmm. And I feel you're holding back when it comes to your heart. Something is very complex when it comes to what you're dealing with. But I feel you're finding importance and awareness while this energy is still withdrawn, sitting in a space of solitude and connected to some very dark, dark attachments. This is third party activity here. Hmm. I also feel these dark attachments may... Since something in an upheaval, something will be unpredictable when it comes to these third party energies where this energy is still being elusive with an apology. There's no clarity. There's a lot of differences. Yet this energy is still holding something open. There's grief and pain and a lot of karma. This is someone who's going through a lot of karmic consequences because they failed to purify something but they're still holding on to something that's keeping them from healing and I feel like they're also upset that you no longer have an open heart you're apprehensive when it comes to them when it comes to intimacy or a close bond because you're no longer chasing you're no longer giving in in fact I feel you found some type of peace in the distance this is more energy here. 
This is someone who wants you to be open. Not wanting to be judged. This is someone who wants something to just seem like a misunderstanding when they have a heavy hand in what is being played here. Let's get another deck here. Spirit, what is the messages here for the collective? I feel you've been very patient in this situation. You have to take inspired action to move or run away. This could be out of hesitation as well. You kind of felt stuck in between a rock and a hard place because your heart was in this. But there was too much behind the scenes, too much risk. This is a thrill seeker, someone who is very reckless but very curious about the wrong things. Someone who is keeping a lot of secrets and possibly spreading a lot of things that are not true. But I feel this is a situation you've had to be very patient hmm. while someone is trying to make you open emotionally i sense there is a tension here a tension in a situation where someone knows they owe you an apology yet they're passive passive aggressive hmm. but i feel these passive aggressive behaviors or this silent treatment doesn't show it it doesn't show that they care or give a damn in fact, I just feel like it just pushes you further away because these passive aggressive behaviors or silent treatment is definitely showing you otherwise when it comes to how they truly feel. I feel something is shattered or damaged beyond repair. And this energy is in opposition in their head. This is someone who is very stubborn. Wow. Very stubborn and stuck when it comes to commitment, loyalty, and devotion. Yet I feel they're embarrassed. This is someone who's embarrassed that they're stuck. And they know that you are being patient, yet this energy put in no effort. This energy put no effort into a situation where there is always conflict. Hmm. But I feel someone had to sever ties, now they're paranoid. So I feel like this is someone who is paranoid because they know they put into, put no effort into this situation. In fact, I feel they only put effort into the separation because they gave no truth. They gave no clarity, no honesty. In fact, I feel this energy only gave into an illusion. Something was damaged because this energy was emotionally closed off, pretending to be oblivious unaware, clueless to what they were doing when it comes to past situations. This could even be connected to past trauma. They're trying to pretend like they didn't cause some type of pain, yet I feel they missed an opportunity. This energy missed an opportunity for a rebirth, a revival, a renewal with you. Trying to manipulate, lie, cause turbulence or chaos within your life through betrayals and lies, and even illusions. This is someone who wanted you to feel alone in what you were thinking or what you were doing, even though they know you seek the truth. <sighs> but I feel you could be in a space of recovery. Harmony within peace. <sighs> While this energy is wanting you to combat with them. This is someone who wants you to be defensive, go tit for tat, and play a game with emotions or hmm, play a game that keeps you on the outside wow this is someone who wants you to feel stressed and overwhelmed heavily burdened by not receiving a truth this is someone who is stubborn not giving compassion or compromise and being very bold about it i feel their bold behaviors will only bring something to a harsh end hmm. I feel there's unfinished business when it comes to communication. This is someone who abandoned something with you, who is taking a lot of losses behind the scenes. But I feel the final decision is about to cause someone to take a leap of faith. This could be your energy or theirs, but justice is about to be served and realized in a very deep way, especially when it comes to these third party energies. No one's getting away untouched. 
these third party energies are being risky, secretive, and misleading when it comes to a truth. These are energies who are pretending you're being offensive, but they are the ones who are being careless and holding back. Someone's in indecision, but I feel something is fated to happen. Someone's going to be surprised, shocked, by how you get out of this. Hmm. But something is definitely being hidden. Or someone's playing a game that they won't win. Let's get a little bit more energy here. I want to keep those cards. So as I said before, this is someone who is stuck. Stuck playing a game that they'll never win. This is someone who is deliberately misunderstanding you or shutting you out to trigger you. Bring you anxiety or wanting you to be intrigued. But I feel this energy is about to see something for what it is. Because they have definitely destroyed something with you. This is someone who's brainstorming, trying to burn evidence, but they know they screwed up in something and they can't hold something back. <laughs> but this energy is all in their emotions. Crying, upset, confused, but I feel this is someone who didn't keep their promises. This is someone who didn't keep their promises and they know they screwed up by trying to affect you. They're embarrassed. There's a sense of shame and humility, and this is why they are trying to play these games to affect you. This is someone who is upset, wanting you to feel that same energy. They're playing games, trying to vent, or wanting you to feel sorry for them, but there are energies here who are watching from afar. These are third-party energies. These energies are kind of getting a kick out of what's going on here. This energy who's playing a dirty game with you is also being played, and they don't see it. They don't see that someone is wanting the tension to remain between the two of you. They want something to be stuck. They want this energy not to put any effort into you. There could also be a fake apology. Please take it how it resonates, or someone is definitely going the wrong way when it comes to you. But as I said before, something is about to happen. Hmm. I feel like a tower moment or event is about to take place. And I feel like the tables are about to be turned. This could be a tower moment, event, argument, or just a revelation. But I sense something was no longer adding up. I feel like something was missing and mixed with the whole melting pot of issues and problems, it became too much to deal with. Yet I sense Hmm. You stop trying. You stop trying to compromise or resolve something when you no longer felt heard or seen. And when things stopped adding up, you had to subtract yourself, even though it broke your heart. Now someone is trying to hide the evidence, trying to make something a little bit more complicated than it needs to be just to fit an agenda, knowing that they're angry. This is someone who has some anger management issues. I feel like all of this is coming from a very hurt space because they, they hate nothing about you. This is someone who is just in their feelings, in their emotions, because they feel like they've been kicked to the curb. They feel like you won't see them differently and why try? But I feel this energy giving up on self is only causing things to fall apart. Because you're not trying to hear it. You're not trying to hear it and they're sick about it. This energy is sick at the fact that they can't get another chance, so they hate on you. This is someone who hates on you and they're trying to put you in your place by causing some type of complicated situation. Yet this energy is keeping secrets. And they're not setting the record straight because they're still putting on the show. Yet I guess I feel the games that they are playing are already played out. Because it's game over. Things are about to explode and go up in flames when it comes to the games that they are playing. 
in these fake friends that they're attached to. I feel this is someone who has made a lot of bad choices and they know you're over it. They just need to check themselves because you are a diamond in the rough. Yet I feel something may be expired. Old news. Hmm. Wow. For some of you, you feel like this was too big of a spiritual attack. This is someone who has betrayed you in too many ways. Now they could be trying to ride something out, trying to pull the strings behind the scenes because they are the ones living a nightmare. But you are standing in your... Hmm. You're standing your ground. I, since you are standing in your power, because you already know the truth, you're protected and they're depressed about it. Wow. This is someone who is living a complete nightmare. Upset because you have found a different way of dealing with the situation and they have not. In fact, I feel this is someone who has gotten more lost in their toxic ways. This is someone who is more involved in something that is going deeper and deeper. Hmm. Now I sense your distance or silence is speaking volumes to someone who is used to getting a rise out of you. And whether it's an emotional response or a reaction, you're no longer feeding. You're no longer feeding or feeding into their toxic ways. Let's get some more energy here. Holy Spirit, what is the message here for the collective energy? Yeah, this is someone who is acting delusional. This is someone who is acting delusional to their toxic ways. When I feel behind the scenes, depression is starting to take over. This is why things are starting to boil over because they feel left behind. This energy feels left behind and for a long time they were codependent on you. This is someone who doesn't know how to get over letting go of you. So they're making things so much worse than it need to be. Hmm. Possibly even overusing substances to cope with it. Cope with their behaviors or what they have to do to get through this. Because it's not easy. Because as I said before, you're not feeding into their drama. You're not feeding into their lies or their hate. And that's becoming a problem. You know, this energy definitely feels you're on a different path. And you're, they're paranoid, on the edge, somewhat obsessed, wanting to affect you in any way that they can. But I feel they're not, not realizing how spiritually protected you really are. For many of you, there's too much distance. You're on a level where you can't be touched, and this energy is still hiding anyways on the edge and still giving into very destructive tendencies. This is someone who is distracted by money or material things. But as I said before, something is definitely played out. Something is played out when it comes to the way they think and the fact that they turn their back on you because now they're feeling drained and depleted. Now this energy is feeling the same way that you felt. And this energy is now trying to press the gas. Hmm. I feel this is someone who is distracted by the fact that they need you. They're distracted by the fact that they need you. And they're trying to hide it. This is someone who is replaying the past. Replaying the past and still has cloudy judgment on how things really took place. But I feel they have lost a true love because of it, because they are still acting like a fool. This is someone who is acting like a fool, playing innocent when they are still betraying you because they still have a false way of thinking when it comes to close bonds or intimacy. For many of you, this energy is still playing the martyr stuck in the past because they're still attached to dark energies, repeating patterns and hurting the innocent. This is someone who is pretending to be blind to a truth when this energy knows exactly what they're doing. I feel this is someone who is pretending to be blind, but it will only cause them to be haunted by their past hmm. because they're going down a dark road. This is someone who's going down a dark road while you're trying to find time to heal. 
and while you're trying to find time to heal, they're still giving in to their dark motives. I feel them playing these games keep you guys on the wrong page here. I feel it keeps the connection on different pages, especially when it comes to them being hot and cold and consumed by their emotions. For many of you, they are still worried about what others think and trying to get others on their side. As I said before, this is someone who is playing the martyr, pretending to be innocent to something that they have a heavy hand in playing a game in. But as I said before, whatever games they are trying to play will soon be lost in a very heavy way. Let's get some final energy here. As I said before, this is something you needed to heal from because this energy re continues to repeat patterns. There is never any change and this energy continues to hurt the innocent. Now there is financial worries because this energy was playing the martyr. This energy was playing games with something they should have never played games with. Now they're suffering from a false identity, a false mask. And I feel you setting boundaries or taking a step back from a situation is causing this energy to deal with some toxic ways and emotions that they were not ready to deal with. And instead of resolving their issues, they're just making things more complicated with you. As I said before, they're trying to create a, dis a diversion, a distraction. Hmm. Wow. And instead of dealing with their own issues, they're trying to highlight yours, even if there is no issues to highlight. And I'm not really sure what you did or didn't do, but they're making it a big deal. This is someone who is making a big deal of it and even involving others to make things more complicated or hard to deal with. So you end up questioning your own actions rather than theirs. Believing they can humble you or put you in a vulnerable mindset of believing you could be the issue and not them. Only because they can't control you or have you. And if they can't control you, they're just talking about you. Talking about you because they don't have access to you. Now this energy is... Rageful, vengeful, looking down on others, playing the waiting game, and has some abandonment issues. For many of you, this was a painful ending when dealing with this energy. He is very insecure and talking a lot about you. This is someone who is talking a lot about you when it comes to outside influences because they're immature. This energy is immature and drowning. Feeling like there is no way out of this. This energy is trying to turn something on you. Projecting their issues. This is someone who is projecting their issues. Playing hide and seek and very defensive. When it comes to their actions or their ways. So they're trying to trigger you. But I feel this energy will only get tangled up. In their own wounds and lies. Because they're going to have to face their own demons. This is someone who is always telling lies never telling the truth this is someone who is keeping secrets because they feel vulnerable hmm. but i feel they feel even more vulnerable now that they are blocked out from you this is someone who is wanting to force something orchestrate a situation when it comes to you and a third party this is someone who is orchestrating something trying to make something seem like something is not but i feel this is the very thing that's keeping the two of you on the, a different page Causing there to be distance, frustration. But as I said before, this energy is trying to keep something completely complicated because they know that you're not coming back to them. So they feel like there's nothing to lose when there is everything to be lost. This is someone who is still sitting in a very childish and immature space and going through a dark night of the soul, wondering what they should do. But I feel this energy needs to give in to what they're avoiding instead of trying to affect you in a dangerous way. Hmm. This is someone who is trying to affect you because they can't be with you. 
let's get a little bit more energy here. Final big energy here, spirit. What is the message here? Final energy. This energy is trying to affect you because they can't be with you. And as I said before, they feel like they have nothing to lose because you have already dusted them off. Change how you deal with the situation and they feel locked up. Locked out. But I feel this is someone who has put themselves in this position. This is someone who has put themselves in this position by trying to cause a war with you. Overthinking a situation because they're stressed out and overwhelmed. They were being fake. And instead of telling you the truth. The truth of how they really feel. They're trying to affect you emotionally. Trying to start a war that they will never win. This is someone who gave in to the groupie energies or toxic environments, playing the martyr and trying to get sympathy, and now they're depressed and empty because nothing has worked out in their favor. This is someone who knows that you need to heal from them. And they know this, what you're doing. And they're trying to cause some type of delay or distraction from it. Whatever they can do to keep you from healing or forgetting about their energy, they're going to do it. And whether they keep your attention in a good or bad way, they don't even care. Because they kind of have nothing to lose. And as I said before, this is someone who is trying to control you because they feel lost. This is someone who is trying to orchestrate a situation. Hmm. Making an offer, but they're still being petty. They're being petty because they feel like you're being cold. This is someone who is coming out as a wolf. In sheep's clothing. Someone who is pretending to be innocent, but this energy has a heavy hand in being guilty. This is someone who is trying to orchestrate something, doing it in a very risky way because they want the clout. This is someone who is tripping on you because you're unbothered, moving in silence, but this energy is still abusing their power. Abusing their power, trying to get information and circulating something wanting to cause tension through secrets wanting to cause tension through secrets and competition this is someone who is not fully trusted nor is those who try to follow hmm. someone knows you dodged a bullet and they're curious trying to create scare tactics because they're blocked and they're reflecting. They're reflecting on the drama they tried to cause for you, but they're the ones who are getting repoed. Something is being taken from them. They're trying to use the family against you. Someone's making an offer, but it's overplayed. This offer is overplayed because someone's trying to come out of something, but they've taken too much already. I feel this is someone who has taken too much from you or a situation already, and you may possibly be acting cold, but it's only to protect self. Protect yourself from someone who is definitely abusing their power. This is someone who is on the outside looking in, wanting to get a closer look, wanting to be all in your business, but this is someone who made you wait. Hmm. Wow. And even when waiting, this energy still didn't come up with a, a proper offer. This is someone who's not coming up with a good offer because they have very little to give. Anything that makes any sense. Because they're still coming from a very selfish or petty space. This is someone who is wanting to affect you in a big way, but they're not getting their way. This is someone who is trying to affect you because they can't control you. And since they can't control you, they are about to result to trying to control how others think about you. Which is unfair. And you will spend some time trying to figure this out or even understand it, yet don't even waste your time. Because this, this is, this doesn't make any sense. I feel like this nonsense will never make any sense to you. Because it doesn't make any sense to them. And they can't explain something that they don't fully understand. Because the hate they have for you 
is only because they resent the fact that they need you. So they punish you. Punish you by trying to affect you emotionally and mentally. Trying to gang up on you. Hmm. Gang up or team up, team up on you with others. Hoping that others will co-sign their harsh ways. But I feel all of these energies are involved in some type of tactics and games when it comes to you. Just to so solidify a win. But I don't feel they really realize your ancestors and guides are nothing to play with. And I'm sensing some very harsh consequences when it comes to their hate. For many of you, this is a situation that has been going on for quite some time. These are energies who want you to feel alone or rejected, wanting you to be triggered. Yet I feel that is their energy. Someone is extra triggered, easily affected. But this is someone who wants you back. This is someone who wants to be back in your energy. Wow. But I feel your light definitely irritates their demons, and this is why they're truly blocked. This is someone who is blocked because they're an imposter. Someone who is still obsessed or watching, yet this energy is stop, not stepping up to the plate. This energy is talking because they don't have access to you. Instead, they're just flexing, overthinking a situation and all in their head about you. I feel this is someone who is all in their head because you're stepping into your power, possibly even running because you're, you're no longer interested. For many of you, you're too busy winning to be affected by this low vibrational energy, yet these energies are still dirt digging, still trying to dig up dirt on you, yet I feel they'll never come up with any facts. These energies will never come up with any facts, but they'll always try to threaten you. These are energies who are threatened by your energy. They're coming out as spiritual haters who are hating on your happiness. But I feel in the end, it will only leave them with karma. Karma, confusion, and fishing for compliments or energy from you because they'll only end up kissing your ass. These are energies who don't really see what's coming their way, but hating on you and your light isn't the way. As I said before, these are energies who are upset that they can't have their way. But doing it this way, they can't find their light. But I feel the only way to win <laughs> is to not play. As their lies and false narratives is only a small price to pay for getting rid of some toxic energies. Because what you're dealing with is not energies struggling to overcome their demons but energies who are committed to concealing them and where you have lied to protect, they have lied to hate. Yet, they won't realize what they've done until they're standing in their fate. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading. And